2016, what the hell are you doing to this planet? Just everybody's leaving. Everybody's leaving. You know, I'll just reiterate the reason why I get on here and talk about the passing of these musicians is because of how important they, what they've done has meant to me and how much it's touched my life. Um, just heard, got confirmed the news because upon first hearing it, only hearing one source is not good, saw his check and sure enough, Maurice White of Earth, Wind and Fire has passed. He had been sick for a while, but you know, as I had mused in a recent video, we are at the age where it is the passing of time and people are getting up in age. So this is in some ways to be expected, but it doesn't really make the impact much easier, much less is it predictable how the different people's passing will affect you. Some people, it's like it's not even any thing, but Maurice White, uh, as I never got to see him play live, but it, he is uh, significant in my music history, personal music history. I do have some records. I don't have a big collection, but I still have some. But he was a role model. That's the thing that I took note of Maurice White throughout his career. Beyond being a band leader, um, so much positivity and um, inclusiveness was eschewed in his music, the music of Earth, Wind and Fire. As, as some people know, he had a, obviously had a history in music prior to Earth, Wind and Fire. He was a drummer and was with Ramsey Lewis, notably. Played with other people as well, but um, I know I have him on some Ramsey Lewis records. Um, I'm, I'm, I am touched by Maurice White. It does feel like the passing of another giant um, for me personally, uh, although I do think that uh, it's an, a significant loss for the world as well. Not that any... to. So see that what I said can be taken wrong. It's not to denigrate or lessen anyone else's passing, but more to denote the impact of what these individuals did on the world at large. Um, I'm listening to an early Earth, Wind & Fire album right now. Um, I, I heard about them early on, Head to the Sky. I heard about them when they um, just got signed to Warner Brothers. Um, there was a big, there was a buzz amongst musicians in the neighborhood when I was a teenager. And the older guys were picking up on Earth, Wind & Fire's early stuff. And uh, because of the musicianship and the, the uh, black pride, but also the, um, there was a groundedness in the values beyond just black pride that was sending out a vibration that was being picked up on a lot of people. And so, Earth, Wind and & Fire um, and Herbie Hancock about the same time really came into focus for me as a, as a teenager. Um, and I have to thank um, my older brother James and other musicians like Charles Gamble and can't even think of the names, you know, players, you know, real players who were listening to the shit, you know, besides Miles Davis and Jimi Hendrix and John Coltrane. Um, so Maurice White, um, rest in peace. And yeah, we're at that time now where it's like, you don't want to think about it. You don't, it's like, it is the touchstone in many ways of Western culture where we do kind of live in a bubble of fantasy and we just kind of want to see what we see, you know, not that there's anything wrong with it, but because we have gotten so good at watching TV and screens and just waiting, you know, always watching for the neat ending or that in some ways I think we have lost grasp on reality a little bit as a group and 
again I'm generalizing but I'm saying that because of the reality of uh, people's passing you know it I have forgotten to mention so many people because you know you can mention there's been all these passings you know so many people like the jazz giant Yusef Latif now I only have one Yusef Latif album so he was not an artist that I spent a lot of focus on but historically recognized that he was someone who quietly or rather um, in an unrecognized way was someone who was breaking down barriers early on for musicians uh, in many ways I understand historically Yusef Latif um, I understand Sugarfoot of Ohio players recently passed away uh, again those guys were significant in the music that they um, shared with the world as well as how they taught many of us how to play funk proper listening to those guys because they were so funky you know and he had a lot to do with it his guitar playing um, many people you know uh, the Mott the Hoople drummer you know Otis Clay the singer I meant you know for a while back Natalie Cole see it just again people let me know and then I'm aware of it and it's like Godspeed to the souls of all of these great and wonderful people um, but Maurice White again you just don't know how you're going to react so and so I just got on here and spoke honest you know just directly about how I'm feeling and just I just have a few just have a few Earth, Wind, and Fire records, you know. Music can be such a healing force in our lives, you know. You know. Oh, I also want to just shout out now a, a great appreciation to you, Third Ear Productions. I feel you, brother. Yeah, I do. I feel you. I feel your passion and your realness as well. Everybody, but I that hit me that I wanted to just shout out to you Third Ear Productions. I hear you, man. And, um... All right. Be well, everyone. Just... Let's just make the most of life, you know, even if it's just breathing deeper for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> 